Trust your first impression. What do you feel or see? What images come to you? The feeling of like a dirt path. Mm -hmm. Dirt path, very good. What else do you see there? I see foliage. Mm -hmm. Foliage. I see trees. Mm -hmm. It's thick. Mm -hmm. Thick trees? Lots of trees. Mm -hmm. And this dirt path, are you walking on it? I'm observing. Observing it. I can see it. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to have you focus on the observer. And I'd like for you to see if you can tell if you have a body. Do you feel like you have a body in this place? Look down I at your feel feet. feel like it. Mm -hmm. So look down at your feet and tell me what you see. What do you see down there on that path? Black sandals. Black sandals. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Do you feel like you're male or female? Oh, male. Male. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that you're wearing. You can imagine a spiritual mirror in front of you, or you can just look down and see what you have on. It's like a tunic. Mm -hmm. What color is this tunic? It's kind of cream colored. Mm -hmm. Does it have anything else on the tunic? Perhaps an adornment or jewelry? It's like a belt. Mm -hmm. A sash or something. A sash, yes. I'm carrying something. What are you carrying? Take a look at your hands. It's like a bag. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine is in this bag? What's it used for? It's like a carries all my belongings. Mm -hmm. So where is it that you're going? Going down the path. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Got like, red hair. Mm -hmm. Like freckles. Mm -hmm. It's really curly hair. Mm -hmm. There's no shape to it. There's no style. <clears throat> no style. Mm -hmm. Is it long or short? It's long. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? About 30. Mm -hmm. So let's find out where it is that you're going. Where are you taking all your belongings to? It's like I'm a drifter. Mm -hmm. What kind of things are you carrying with you? A bedroll. Mm -hmm. Some extra clothes. Some campfire utensils. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's continue down this road, and I'd like for you now to you can see yourself getting to this destination of the next important scene that you get to. So see yourself advancing this, and let's see where you're going. Like a, it's not really a village, it's like uh, a few homes. Mm -hmm. There's some people. Mm -hmm. 
What do these people do? What are they doing there? They're just living. Mm -hmm. They're gardening and fending for themselves. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what you do once you arrive there. What do you do next? They're kind of scared of me. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Makes me wonder if I should just keep going by. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I need to talk to them. Tell me what you do next. Keep seeing this lady. Mm -hmm. She has her hair covered up with a like a handkerchief or something. Mm -hmm. It's like she wants me to notice her. Mm -hmm. She wants. Like she wants help. Mm -hmm. So what happens? What do you do? I feel like I'm a drifter, and I don't want to get. I want to have someone hold me down. Mm -hmm. Take a look at these women's eyes. See if you can see them. See if if you recognize these eyes of anyone that you know. Oh, I know those eyes. Mm -hmm. You recognize them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's, those are. So let's see what happens next. She's want me. Want me to stay. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I know she needs help. I know I can provide it. Mm -hmm. But it's like I have to sacrifice my freedom. I like my freedom. Mm -hmm. But my heart feels like I need to help. So, what decision do you make? I'm looking at the kids. Mm-hmm. There must not be a father figure around or something. Mm -hmm. How many kids are there? There's two. Mm -hmm. Little girl and little boy. And they're playing in the dirt and looking up at me. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? It's kind of... I think it's cute. Mm -hmm. And I can tell that I could be a great help. And that I could make the garden better. Mm -hmm. It's kind of kind of frail. It's 
It's not a lot of points in it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that if you were to do something for her, you'd be able to provide more? Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens. Close that scene and go to the next significant scene in that lifetime. Tell me where you are. I'm still there. Mm -hmm. I've got different clothes on. How are you dressed now? Got boots. Mm -hmm. and trousers. I'm sitting in the chair. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting inside the, the like a shack. Mm -hmm. By myself. How old do you feel there? So, like 45. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you live there by yourself? I feel like I'm all by myself. Mm -hmm. Well, let's find out what happened to the woman and her children. What happened to them? See a fire. Mm -hmm. It's like a forest fire. Mm -hmm. What happens? It's lots of smoke. It's all gray or dark and black. What happened? I don't think they made it. I don't think they made it out. Mm -hmm. Where were you? I was on the edge. Trying to get away from the fire. How do you feel about this? I feel sad. What goes through your mind? Like I didn't do enough to help them. Mm -hmm. The fire scared me. I got away from it. Mm -hmm. I want you to think if you did, you said any vows to yourself about being able to help this family in the future. What did you say to yourself about this? I felt guilty. Mm -hmm. like I'm, that's why I'm in that shack. Mm -hmm. Why do you pick that shack to live in? It's far away from people. Mm -hmm. It's desolate. No one can judge me. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that people are judging you because you survived? I feel like it, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you should have died instead of them? Or you should have saved them? I what feel like I should have done more. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you're punishing yourself for that? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Is there any need for you to punish yourself anymore? No. All right. So I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to give me all of that guilt that you've been feeling. You don't need to carry that weight anymore. Pull all of that guilt out, knowing that you did the best that you could in the circumstances. And no one is judging you. You're only judging yourself. Pull out all of that guilt and give it to me. Pull it out of every cell of your being. And tell me when I have it all. Okay. All right, I'm taking that all out and sending to the universe. Now, what would you like to put instead of feeling guilty? Assuredness. Mm -hmm. Let's put assuredness in there, knowing that you are always at the right place, at the right time. That you have no control over others' lives, only your own. Feel yourself confident and secure in your own being. That no one is judging you. You are only judging yourself. And then from now on, you'll be judging yourself positively, knowing that you did the best to help this family, and that was your contract with them, and that is all, and let's seal that in. So let's now go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself on the last day of your life and tell me what's going on now. I feel like I'm still going along. Mm-hmm. What do you do with yourself? I'm laying on the ground. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel? I feel like 80. Mm-hmm. And what are you doing on the ground? Have you fallen? Something happened, I can't get up. Are you ready to leave this body behind now? Yes. All right. So go ahead and take your last breath, transition out of that body. And as you do, leave that body behind. And I'd like for you to tell me as you look back at that lifetime, what was the purpose of that life? What were you supposed to be doing there? I was making supposed to be making a decision. Mm-hmm. What decision did you need to make? To, to, it was a decision of settling down or mm -hmm. moving on. Mm -hmm. And you made that decision. Was that the right decision? No. Mm -hmm. What did it, that cost you? It cost me my whole life. Mm -hmm. So what lesson did you learn from it? That I need to live my life. Mm -hmm. Not... Not give my life to others. Mm -hmm. Alright. So now that you know the lesson and the purpose, I'd like for you to drift away from that man there and tell me everything that happens after you leave that soul. Where do you go? What do you see now? I see blackness. The blackness, mm-hmm. Tell me about this blackness. It's, it's like it's not 
like night. It's like mm -hmm. like a dark room with no light. A dark room with no light. Mm -hmm. Now, even in a dark room with no light, there's always something there. So let's find out what this dark room is all about. Let's find out why you're here. Who comes to meet you there? Like symbols. Mm hmm. Symbols. What do the symbols look like? It's like ovals. Mm hmm. The symbols have white in them. Mm hmm. They have light. They have white. White in them. Yeah. Mm hmm. What else do you see? It's like stars. Mm -hmm. Dots. Do you feel like you're floating in this place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just observing. Mm -hmm. So let's keep observing and tell me everything that you see along the way. Don't leave anything out. Okay. Coming up on some stairs. Mm-hmm. Stairs. What do these stairs look like? They're white. Mm hmm What do you imagine these white stairs are made out of? Marble. Mm-hmm. Do they go up or down? They go up. All right. How many steps do you imagine they have? to go up. 63. Mm -hmm. So let's go up the stairs. Tell me what you're feeling as you're going up these stairs. I can going to meet someone. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who's there to greet you. Oh, really old man. Mm -hmm. What does he look like? It's a long beard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has a long gown with pleats. In it. Mm -hmm. Long gown with pleats. Like he's holding a, a stone. Mm hmm. What color is this stone? It looks like granite. Mm hmm. Does it have a shape? It's like, like a shape like a bullet. Mm hmm. What is the significance of the stone? You'll be able to connect with him mind to mind now and communicate. It's like there's things written on it he wants me to see. Mm -hmm. How big is the stone? It's about as big as his torso. Mm. So let's look closely at this stone and tell me what you see. What's written on it? It's like the Book of Life. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to read what's on this. You'll be able to understand it. What is it, the passage that he wants you to read? There's a time and place for everything. He's trying to show me that 
I need to go through those times and places. For what reason? For growth. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, a hallway or a an opening. Mm -hmm. And um, going down this hallway. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself, or is this man with you? He's like behind me now. Mm-hmm. Describe this hallway for me. Oh, it's huge. Mm-hmm. It's like... I don't want to say a hundred foot tall. Mm-hmm. Anything interesting about this hallway? Anything that stands out? It's, uh, you know, the height and the, mm -hmm. the grand, grandiose of it mm -hmm. is overwhelming. It's so tall. Mm -hmm. Is there anything on the sides of this hallway? Perhaps doors or windows? It's like... It's like... Glass. Mm hmm Glass. What do you see? But there's nothing on the other side. Hmm. It's like darkness on the other side. Okay. Is it light where you are now? Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's light in the hallway. Okay. I'm just going down the hallway and let's see where you go to. Be there now. So it opens up into a, like a room. Like a A round room. Mm hmm What's in this room? Paintings. Mm hmm A cathedral came to my mind. Mm hmm There's places to sit. Mm hmm Stone benches. What color is this place? Is it colorful or is it oh, white? It's brilliant white. Oh, brilliant white. Are the paintings white also? All the paintings have color. Mm hmm. But everything else is white? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what is the purpose of this room? What comes to mind as you sit there? It's like God's house. Mm-hmm. And why are you there today? It's like a review. Mm -hmm. Like the paintings are my this is my things that I've done. Mm -hmm. So as you look at the paintings, do they move? Or are they pictures? 
It's like I have a knowing of what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you feel as you're watching this or looking at these paintings? How do you feel? I almost feel neutral. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm just observing and not judging, mm -hmm. just looking. Are you by a lot your lump by yourself or is that old man with you? Oh the old man standing by me. Mm-hmm. Is this old man your guide? I think so. Mm -hmm. It feels like my guide. Does he say anything to you while you're watching? He's just letting me take it all in. Mm-hmm. He's giving me a look like Hmm. Like he already knows it all. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't need to look at the paintings. He's just watching my reactions. And looks at me with very much concern. Mm -hmm. Connect with him and find out why. I guess it feels like I'm not getting the message. Mm -hmm. I'm not learning. What is the lesson that you're supposed to be learning? I kind of did think for myself. Not let others think for me. So what happens after this review? What decisions are made? What plans are made? I know I've got to come back. Mm -hmm. How do you select the life and the people in your life? It's like there's other people there to talk to. Mm -hmm. Are these people in the room with you? No, they're they're down. I can see them. Mm -hmm. right. It's like I need to. That's what he's trying to tell me. I need to go. Mm -hmm. I need to go talk to them. And so let's see where you go next. Like a schoolroom. Mm -hmm. We're learning how to move objects. How many are you in there? Feels like a lot. Mm -hmm. Maybe. 30, 40. Mm -hmm. Are you in that classroom? Yes. Mm -hmm. How old do you look in that classroom? Oh. I look like 
Twenty. Mm-hmm. And what else do you learn in this besides moving objects? Like on mind Con- connectedness. Mm-hmm. Connectedness with other people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How are you doing in this class? I'm learning. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm getting the lesson. Mm-hmm. Do you feel you're a good student? Yes. Mm-hmm. What else are you learning? Learning about light. Mm-hmm. Tell me about light. Light has energy. Mm-hmm. What can you do with light? Can manifest. Mm-hmm. Can create. What else? It's when everybody works together, it's even more powerful. Mm-hmm. So ever, is everybody in the class working together on this? Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you do, use different light colors? The rainbow. Mm-hmm. What else are you learning? I see a prism mm-hmm. coming off of the triangle. And it, it can reflect all the way to Earth. And it, it's, it creates shapes. Mm-hmm. What kind of shapes? It's like a... Like, creates the eye of horse. Mm-hmm. Does that shape mean anything in particular? It's like... It's like an alignment. Mm Mm-hmm. Certain... Certain... When things are all in a certain alignment, it can that's when it makes it go to earth. Mm-hmm. And people can see it if they're if they're willing to notice it. Mm-hmm. How does it manifest on Earth? This eye of Horus. It has to be reflected off of. Some kind of shiny object, Mm -hmm. but it has to be like in the shape of an 11. Mm -hmm. Why 11? Because 11 is, is God. Like 
it's like a like a portal or something mm -hmm. like a window yeah can that number 11 be used for manifesting yes mm -hmm. how can we use the number 11 in the life of people on earth It's used everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's part of its creation. Mm -hmm. It's it's in everything. It's, everything's designed all good things are designed by love. Mm-hmm. So when people see the number 11, or 111, things like that, what does that actually mean? It's like the base. It's like the, where everything, it's kind of like, uh, Where everything starts from. Mm -hmm. So, for example, for those on the going on a spiritual journey, beginning their awakening, would they be seeing the number 11? Where everything starts? Yes. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why we reflect it to Earth. Mm. So people can notice. Mm hmm. What other numbers are reflected to Earth? Any others? No, it's just, it's really not even meant to be a number. It's just mm -hmm. a, looks like an 11. Mm -hmm. But that's the shape that will make mm -hmm. the symbols. Yes. And that just symbolizes God. Yes. Very good. What are the things you're learning in class that you can use? Learning shapes. Mm hmm. Learning that one. It is. Our numbers have, have shapes assigned to them. Mm -hmm. Like one is a circle, and two is a um, vesica Pisces, mm -hmm. three is triangle, four is square, five is pentagon, six is a hexagon. What is a seven? Just all I see is polygon. Mm -hmm. Octagon. Nine. Nine is special. Mm -hmm. What's so special about the number nine? Nine is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. That's just... The, the numbers go from one to nine. Mm -hmm. And then there's a chasm but before you get to eleven. And you have to, you have to know the nine to get to eleven. Hmm. Can you explain that, please?
You have to understand that there's that there's there's something there's like a chasm or something false in between. Mm -hmm. It's like a trickster. Mm -hmm. You don't want to fall in that trap. Mm -hmm. Do people fall into that trap? Yes, all the time. Mm -hmm. How do you know you've fallen into that, that chasm? Because you never got to know Jesus or the number nine. Mm -hmm. It's like you fall in there and you'd be recycled. Mm -hmm. It's like catching fish. There's a big net. And a small net, and one falls into the big net. Mm -hmm. It's like Jesus is there's pulling some into the small net. Do they teach you about Jesus in this place? It's like a, just like know. Mm -hmm. You have a knowing of Jesus when you're there. Mm -hmm. How is Jesus represented in this place? How do you know he's there? It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's everything. Mm -hmm. Like everything that's ever been manifested. Mm -hmm. With the light. Mm -hmm. Now we had Jesus as the man who came to earth. What is the Jesus that is in this place that created everything? Is there a difference? There's a... There's a... Hard to find the words. It's a, like a union mm -hmm. between Jesus and God mm -hmm. and the source. And they are together mm -hmm. always. Does Jesus have dominion over this area? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this his universe? Yes. Mm -hmm. Jesus created all that. Mm -hmm. He used the numbers. Mm -hmm. And the, everything, the light and the colors and the shapes and even words. It all works together. How do the words work together? Do they have some sort of numerical significance? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? You know, the word gematri comes to mind. Gematri? Mm -hmm. It's like every word can be broken down into a number. Mm -hmm. Or a shape. Or color, mm -hmm. because if you break it down to a number, then you know the shape. Mm -hmm. And if you know the shape and the number, then you know the color. So when 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 someone uses words, any particular sequence of words, they're actually using some sort of a energy, yes. numerical energy. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's all energy. It's all energy. So how can your words manifest? Because it's all 
like mathematical. Mm -hmm. You say the word, and it has vibration and sound, mm -hmm. and it, it has numbers, and, and it knows what to do. So for those who do affirmations, for example, will some affirmations work and others not, depending on the words? They work for that person. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work for someone else. It, it's how that person... It's a, I guess you could say emotion is tied to it too. Mm -hmm. So let's find out now about this classroom and see when it is that you graduate from this high, this classroom. What are the things that you have learned? I feel like you always keep coming back to it mm -hmm. to learn more. Yes. So now let's go to the time when you are now picking the people that will be coming in your lifetime in the life of Jamie. I see a place that's like, it's like white circles, it's like a like you would see grapes. Mm-hmm. Like just hanging there. Mm-hmm. What are these circles? I want to say soul groups. Mm-hmm. There's lots of them. Mm -hmm. These clusters of grapes, these are soul groups? Yes. And how do you know where you belong? In which soul group? You're guided. Mm -hmm. It's like a wispy white like a wisp of smoke or steam or something mm -hmm. takes you there. What do you find when you get there? My soul group. Mm -hmm. How big is this soul group? It's big. It's, it's home. Mm-hmm. Do you see anyone that you recognize there? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see, my dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my mom. My sisters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're... They're the. It's not like. It's not like they're my dad and mom in that so are in that place though. Mm -hmm. What are they? Are they equal? Yes, we're all equal. Mm -hmm. We're all one. So how do you select those that will be coming into your next incarnation? Oh, we all have our our growth pattern. Mm -hmm. Everyone has things they need to work on. Mm -hmm.
What are you feeling as you're watching this? I don't want to help. Mm -hmm. Help those that need work. How can you help them in this next incarnation? To give them situations. Situations that well, for, that will put them in a position to grow. Mm -hmm. Are these challenging positions? Difficult ones? Yes. Mm -hmm. Difficult. But it doesn't last. Why do you say it doesn't last? It doesn't, the difficulty doesn't last. Mm -hmm. It's just like a doorway, just something to go through. Do you need to hold on to these once you go through them? You take it with you. Mm -hmm. The growth. The growth. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to take the pain with you? No. Mm. What if you do? Then you're stuck. Mm -hmm. Until you can... It's like a broken record. Mm -hmm. Going back for more again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how you learn. Wide awake now. Wide awake feeling wonderful all over. Wow. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? What a journey. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember? Oh, the, the classroom and mm -hmm. stairs and the mm -hmm. cathedral. Yeah. The learning mm -hmm. about light. Yeah, you had a lot of good information there. How long do you feel this session was? Not feel very long. Not very long? Forty minutes. Mm, we're almost on an hour and fifty-five minutes. No way. <laughs> way. Uh-huh. Wow. A lot longer than you think it was, huh? It didn't seem very long at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of emotion there, too. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of stuff done there. Pretty interesting, huh? I remember my sister teasing me. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was a big part of you. Uh, your guilt, your, your, your fears. My fears. How yeah. do you feel now about that? Feel better? I feel better. Mm -hmm. You can see where the origin was of it. You created that. I created it. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to carry that anymore. I know. Now you know where it came from. It came from a seven-year-old teasing. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need that baggage anymore. No. Nope. So what do you think? Is it worth it now? Oh, yeah. Now that you're on this side. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Was mm. it what you expected? <laughs> oh, it was different. It was. It was. I was. It's all different. Yeah. <laughs> Each one is totally unique. There's no way. I was expecting. I don't know. It's like. It's. It's progressive. It's. Mm -hmm. You were given exactly the information you needed today. It's really all that... Just trying to analyze something. Well, this is why we have the recording, and I'm going to send it to you, because every time that you listen to it, it's going to mean more and more. Mm -hmm. The only thing is you can't listen to it while you're in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Okay? Um, <laughs> because this is something that you need to... Oh, I'm going to sit 
Mm. Analyze it. Yeah, every time. Listen. And any healing that was done is always recorded in the in the transmission. Okay. So you're going to be able to, you know, feel this, you know, every time. Do you feel that this is something that should remain private? Or do you want to share some of it? Well, if it'll... Definitely the... The, the, wake, the waking people up part. Mm -hmm. Definitely need to share that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to share. Okay. So we can take out all the personal questions. Okay. And leave the part with the classroom. And what do you think? Sure. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the stuff was pretty much hypnotherapy. And that's private. And we don't need to share any of that. Okay. Good? Yeah. Sound All good? right. So here we are. Here we are. <laughs> and we just finished a really amazing session. Yes. What it, What would you like to tell everybody about why you came? And um, This is definitely something that's personal for each person yeah. to, to venture. Um, mm -hmm. For me, it was like... I came here because of all the, you know, information, the mathematical information yeah. I was given that I wanted to understand, mm -hmm. and I've got some answers for that. Yeah. I'm, well, you received a download, and that's what, uh, Jamie received a download of information which was really, really intense. A lot of mathematical information. You're not mathematical at all. No, just and he started general math, <laughs> right? And he started discovering that there were formulas that that were really, really important. And I think we discovered some of the stuff today. Yes, it's um. Mm -hmm. Each number has yeah. Each number has a, a shape assigned to it and a uh -huh, color and a color and. Uh, um, and this is what you were you were learning in that classroom. Yeah. And it's almost like they were reminding you, hey, this is I what you learned. that's what it was. It was a reminder. You already know this stuff, Jamie. It's like I'm supposed to take the, the next step now. And, sh and tell people about it. And, and them, teach people teach. about it. Yeah. So this session was basically just a, a confirmation of what, what you were it's learning. Like it's a, it's a way to filter out as you're going through life to mm -hmm. filter out the false stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you know what to look for yeah you know. did you have any expectations before you came here oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i thought i was going to be given all kinds of, you know like mathematicians would be like you need to do this and cross your t's and i's and yeah. do this that and, yeah and but i thought you i was going to be given more math you know, but but it seems to me that today was a confirmation that you already know this stuff. You're already connected, and all they have to you have to do is get down and start channeling this. Yeah, that's it. Just you already have it. I already have it. Yeah, so I've already been through it. Yeah, you already have. So yeah. the session was a lot longer than you expected. What did it feel like to be hypnotized? I know you're shaking. You're still yeah, shaking. I'm still shaking. <laughs> uh -huh. And it, I think that's that's still the energy coming through it you. Is. I'm just <laughs> I had I had that just a few days ago with someone too. Was like you just that's like mm -hmm. you really have to trust yourself. Yeah. You have to filter out. And just you know, listen to your voice and mm -hmm. filter out. Like you said, that little chatter guy in the back. Yeah, that's the the logical mind yeah. gets involved. Yeah. I always tell people to put him in the back seat and put some duct tape on him. Yeah, <laughs> if you can filter him out, you're good to go. Yeah, and you did very and well. He keeps trying to come back throughout the whole thing. And yeah, trying to make sense of things. <laughs> you're yeah. you're making it all up. Yeah, he keeps yeah. trying to tell you you're making it all up. You're making it all up. Mm-hmm. And you're like, no, just just. But you did great. Go you with did it. great. So if you would like a session with me, you just go to my website, albawoman.com, and I do travel all over the place. You could sign up for my newsletter, uh, and you will get uh, 
information on where I'm traveling to next and hopefully I'll be by a city near you and you can have a session with me there. And as you can see, every single session is absolutely unique and different. So nobody's going to have a session like anything that you've ever had. So mm -hmm. yours is unique. So good? I'm good. <laughs> good. All right. Thank you very much. And give me that hug now. Ooh. Thank you, Lola.